the three of you, you're Canadian, you guys are from the UK, so no one's using their own accent, are they? Well, I mean, you're pretty much American. I am. I sound American, don't you I? Don't, you don't say a boot. <laughs> a boot. Oot. But um, yeah, you're right. I mean, the four, us, us four leads, we all came, me and Tanya and Martin and Matthew all came over from England. But once you've got that down and everyone puts the groundwork down, it's like driving a car and you don't think about it anymore. And we had an accent coach to keep us going. But um, it, was, it was much more, I think Matthew's touched on it earlier, about it was more creating a voice of this character rather than the... The, the the cogs of the machine of the accent and working about doing flat A's and elongating certain vowels or whatever like it was more working out who this person's voice was and then and not thinking about it too much. I didn't know anything about that world really apart from as it was represented in film and TV and that sort of um, history that very American history of um, the mob um, show and the mob film but um, I didn't think it was that necessary to research that for my character particularly I, you know I don't think any of us did I think we all explored much more uh, important relations to do with our families and our um, and where we were coming from psychologically and where we were going to psychologically and researching that was much more exciting than necessarily reading books about like gangsters or crime syndicates and yeah I mean I think we were all very aware that comparisons were going to be made to, with our show with a lot of other crime syndicate shows and we wanted to make sure, I mean, you touched on the Hungarian aspect of it. I mean, that wasn't something that we, we really drew on a lot or focused on much. It was more how do crime syndicates in America now, how do they make their money? How do they run? It's a business and how does it work? Um, and so we were given a lot of material by the show's creator, Matthew Parkhill, about how these people actually do make their money. And it was fascinating to find out the things that we did. I mean, yeah. the things, th I mean, for example, pizza dough is but the majority of how these families, these crime syndicates make their money, which is made in China and imported to America for the American market. And they just skim off the top of the import of it. They run docks, they run these, the import companies. And they're just on the level of the law. And you know, counterfeit medication yeah. is an $85 billion a year business. This is you know, a serious amount of money and mafia families don't want to be in, running in with the law. They want to try to keep their head, though it's a business. And so that was fascinating to learn. I mean, it was nothing, it's something that a lot of people don't know about, really. That's true. I didn't know about the pizza dough. There you go. You I'm came gonna, and you learned something. I'm going to take twice. <laughs> I might order Papa John's so I'm going to feel a little guilty yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing that is really different about this show is just how raw and when the language is raw, the violence is raw, but the sex is really raw. What kind of conversation did they have with you guys? about this is because I'm assuming this will visit everyone at some point. I, I when I was hired onto the show I, I didn't really know it would go there uh, per se but I did know that we were all stepping onto something that was different and that was going to be presented in a very raw truthful real way and it, you know you could feel that um, so when our episode approached with our sexy stuff. Um, there, there was a lot of discussion about it, um, just a lot of conversation. It's very well placed, I feel, to me that our scene has always been a scene about power and very high emotional stakes and, um, and to me it, it was just a very um, meaningful part of the story. I mean, so, the, the, yeah. the thing is, is that all of, the, all of the themes that we're touching on, we're trying to really take the gloves off with and, and display in the most honest way we can. But all of the things, whether it's the violence or the sex, is there very much for a reason. And the sex scenes that we did weren't just there for, for the sake of it. They were telling a story. And in that sense, there's a real domino, domino effect throughout the entire series. And so we, we, know, we didn't have any sort of hesitation in doing it because it was important to the, to the plot. And it was really setting up an awful lot for what's to come. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com. <laughs>